What's up everyone, it's Ryan here from Green Tech Network. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the TS100 Digital OLED Programmable Soldering Iron. It tends to be a little bit on the more expensive side when it comes to soldering irons. It's around $60 depending on where you buy it from. But it does have a lot of features and it's a very small and portable. So to start, I'll talk a little bit about what it offers. Uh, it has a STM32 microcontroller chip inside. Which is, the pro which is what powers the programmable portion of the soldering iron. It uh, controls all the temperatures and all the multiple different settings you can do. There's different sleep settings. If you haven't been touching it for a while, it'll turn off. Um, and along with that, it has two buttons that allow you to easily switch between temperatures and um, all kinds of crazy features. Uh, the website is a little bit difficult to understand, so I'll probably have to go through it and figure out all the features myself. Um, but along with that, it also powers off of a standard DC power port, and it accepts any voltage between 12 and 24 volts. So you don't need to use a special power supply with it. You can use virtually anything you already have. Um, the higher the voltage and the higher the current, current, the faster it'll heat up to its max temperature. Uh, it takes anywhere between 40 seconds to 10 seconds to heat up, um, depending on which voltage uh, power supply you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it here. So this is just the front of the box, uh, real basic. And it looks like we've got some safety instructions, and it feels like there's some sort of um, something metal in here as well. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, so we just have some Chinese safety instructions. Um, there's a more detailed manual online that I was looking at before I purchased this, so I'll definitely put a link to that, um, as well as the link to buy it yourself. Um, so this is a little uh, Allen wrench, it looks like, with some screws, I assume, to replace the soldering tip. So this is the actual uh, iron itself. It's super small. It's like pocket-sized. It's got one of those plastic things. Another plastic thing here on the side. So you can see there, it tells you 12 volts to 24 volts. And um, on the back, we've got the DC power port and micro USB. Apparently, you can connect this to your computer and program uh, some of the settings. I'm not sure if you can program them directly on this. I'm pretty sure you can't because there's only two buttons. It'll be kind of hard to try to program stuff with only two buttons. So I assume you're going to have to download some sort of firmware or software and um, plug in the USB cable, but I guess I'll get to that in the uh, wider portion of the review. So then we just have, um, I have another little uh, Allen wrench here I'll use instead of opening up that one right now. So this is just the uh, little screw here to take off the uh, front of it, oh, didn't open that up enough, and pop in the soldering tip. There's, I think, five different style tips they offer. Um, if you have a special, that looks like, oh, I think this should just pop off now. Hey, it's coming out. It's pretty hard to open, though. There we go. But yeah, like I said, there's uh, four or five different soldering tips they offer. This is just the uh, basic one, so it just has a um, you know standard point. There's I know there's one with a very very uh, fine point, one that's a little bit thicker, and then some of those um, ones that have a bit of a uh, flat end to them to smooth out your uh, solder. So there's the soldering tip and the soldering iron. It's got a pretty nice feel to it. Like it feels kind of like a uh, a nice mechanical pencil almost. Pretty lightweight, but still feels um, solid build quality. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and do some test soldering on it just to show you how it works. So it has been a few days since I did the initial unboxing of the TS100 soldering iron. I wanted to get a good feel for how it works in the field before I did the actual video review. And I have to say that this is definitely the best soldering iron that I've ever used. Um, the build quality is really nice, and it has a lot of really cool features that I didn't realize it uh, even, even came with when I first purchased it. So I'm going to 
start it up and just give you an overview of how it works. So I have here a 12 volt, 7 amp DC power supply. This is definitely overkill for this soldering iron. You don't need 7 amps at 12 volts DC. The recommended, I believe, is around 19 volts, 2 amps. Well, this just happens to be a power supply I had laying around. So you connect the power, and it first shows up as at version 2.11, which is the version of the software installed on it. So what's cool is it doesn't doesn't get hot at all. It gets you know cool to the touch when you you know power it up until you press this button here, and then once you press this button, sometimes you have to press and hold it'll start heating up. So this is a decent example showing how quick it heats up just with a 12 volt power supply. So I believe it's set for 300 degrees Celsius and as you can see it climbs up pretty fast so if I had to guess probably around 20 seconds it takes maybe 25 seconds to reach its uh, 300 degrees Celsius which there you go. So it's ready to solder now and if you want to change the temperature you press and hold this button and then you can cycle through um, pretty much any temperatures you want it goes down to I believe 100 degrees Celsius yeah and then all the way up to 400 degrees Celsius which is pretty hot and I generally use it on 300 maybe 310, 320 depending on what type of solder I'm using. So you can see it's um, heating back up from when it was set to 100 degrees. So the other kind of cool thing about this is it doesn't get hot at all. So I mean this thing isn't even remotely, even isn't even slightly warm, the, the plastic enclosure. This start is a little bit warm. It, could pr it might burn you if you kept your fingers on it for a while, and then obviously the tip gets hot. But the actual enclosure itself doesn't even get slightly warm after using it for you know, half an hour which is pretty neat. The other kind of cool thing is that if you put the soldering iron down and let it sit without touching it, I believe it has some sort of accelerometer or gyroscope inside it that de determines if you're, you know, if it's been moving and if you let it sit for a while, you know, like sometimes you're organizing components before you solder, you put it down and you're not using it for a bit, it'll actually go into kind of like a, hi a hibernation mode where it cools down to 200 degrees Celsius, which saves a little bit of power, which is kind of a uh, neat feature. Um, that is programmable, so you can connect this via the USB port, and there's about six or seven different parameters you can change, it's just a text file so it's not really programming per se, like you're not developing temperature curves or anything like that, you're just you're just changing certain um, timed variables like on how quick or how long it'll stay cool or um, how long it has to sit before it starts to cool down. The one kind of negative thing I've noticed is that I'm left-handed so if you hold it in your left hand, then the temperature is upside down, which kind of sucks. And then the buttons um, obviously are kind of like reversed. So this goes down and this goes up. But if you're right-handed, it's not really a problem. I guess the only other complaint is the holding it here, it can be like a little bit like slippery. So it feels like sometimes it's going to like, you know, get pulled back from this wire and you might end up grabbing the hot piece real quick but it's not it's not super hot so it won't burn you um, but that's pretty much it um, I'm not really gonna pr plug it in my computer and show you the text file it's pretty much you just changing different um, variables on timing so how long it takes to cool down how long it takes to heat up and um, hibernation and all that but overall I really like it it's a pretty decent soldering iron um, like I said it has six different style soldering iron tips you can get they're around 10 bucks a piece and um, I definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking for a higher end soldering iron but that pretty much concludes the review for the TS100 soldering iron uh, thank you for watching